Yes, today we are back with the Eris game on the episode Choose Your Story app. If you've not seen the last one, you can catch it right here. But after all the drama with finding out we were an heiress after our father we had no clue about was found dead, murdered. We had to go to the police station. They questioned us. We met our fourth and I believe final love interest who did not trust us one bit. We started meeting some people. We had some time with some of the boys, especially Callum, who... He goes very hot and cold with us. He has his super sweet moments, Mr. Millionaire. But then he goes to where he's like, stop, stop. And then there's other people like Elliot, who is totally husband material, our bodyguard, and then the detective. So we're going to start seeing what happens with each of them. I'll put up a poll soon for you to vote who you like the most if you're watching this when it goes up. If you're in the future, it might already be picked. I'm sorry. But we have our first major event in high society, and we're going to see how this goes. But I hope you guys are excited. Please go follow the amazing author Earl Grey to Her Instagram handle is in my description box down below. If you enjoyed this video, please consider giving it a like as it helps the channel out a lot. Subscribe if you haven't already. And without further ado, let's start the drama. A black shadow. Okay, so the last one ended with someone had broke into the house or something, so... Reach for the lights, punch the figure, yell for help, yell for help. Help! Oh. It's okay, Miss Alder, it's just me, Mia. What are you doing sneaking around like that? Mia? What are you doing? What are you doing, Miss Mia? Do you have something to do with the other murder? The lights went out and I just wanted to check on you. What happened? It must be a power trip, an electrician is on his way. That's weird. Why did she have to sneak up on me like that? That was strange. I don't trust her. They're at it again. But I'm feeling kind of cute in this outfit today. Girl, strike a pose. Make them headlines. Strike that pose. Eris breaks epi epiter. <laughs> I couldn't really read that for a second. I never thought I'd be able to step into a fancy designer boutique like this or have my own stylist. Why am I getting fitted for a dress today? You'll be attending a charity auction gala this afternoon in Mr. Aldridge's place. I'll be waiting outside, but remember, it's important for you to dress your best. It'll be the first time you're officially introduced as the Aldridge heiress. Everyone will be there. Business partners, Mr. Bradford, your uncle, not the uncle. Elliot has been hired as the caterer. Oh, the detectives here? I hear even the EBI is sending a representative. Ooh, everyone will be dressed to the nines. Why do you think Marcellus and I are in a suit? That's a lot of people. I have two dresses free to choose from. Okay, so we have this one. Classy, pale, pearl, encrusted gown. What's the second gown? And no one will be able to resist you in the sexy black slit gown dripping with diamonds. Um... I kind of like the pink one. Surprise. Oh, okay. Well, I didn't get a second option to check. I guess we're wearing the pink one. Oh, that's right. Everyone be shook. Take a look at us. Take a look at us. All eyes are on me. If it isn't the imposter. Well, that's funny, Charlie. That's real funny. What is she doing here? Everyone is waiting for me to speak. Girl, hold your head high. It's nice to meet you too, Charlie. Hmph. Imposter, he says. The Aldridge blood runs strong in them. Pleasure to meet you, Miss Aldridge. Don't bother yourself with the imposter, Callum. They don't know about the marriage agreement. I was once regarded as the imposter of my family too, Charlie. You know what I did to those who called me names? <laughs> Have you thought about what you're bidding for today? Oh, Charlie. Charlie, 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 someone will shut up real quick. We're going to have you taken out with the trash, too. Let's go look at the collection. I would run if I were you, too. Thank you, Callum. Thank you. Oh, here's Ellie. Ellie, the dessert spread looks amazing. Thank you. It's the first time our cafe is catering, and I wanted to do my best. Did you even get any sleep last night? Not a wink. I just kept frosting and frosting and frosting. It was all worth it. You have nothing to worry about. You have nothing to worry about, too. You can tell that I'm nervous. This is my first time at a fancy event like this. Really? I can't tell. 
You fit right in, especially with that gorgeous dress. Thanks. There are no... Okay, so I have some stash away. Give me a minute. If it isn't Miss Aldridge, Gunther Williams, but I'm sure you've heard of me. I've never heard of you once. Who are you? I have not heard of him at all. <laughs> the pose he's striking, his face. I can't even do that face. He he really has some talent to freeze his face like that. Um, Of course... Yes, you've heard of me after all. I'm the one and only heir to the one necessity every household needs to clean up after themselves after a meal. Our product are found in every household, a century-old solvent placed strategically beside every sink. We are indispensable. So dispensable dishwashing soap? Freya, okay, thank you, thank you. Fetch me one too, caterer. Sure, he has a name. Why would I bother with that? He's just a caterer. You, it's okay, Freya. One, okay, 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 okay. He's being real nice. Not that before we were so rudely interrupted. I would like to date you. Who do you think you are? Wh what? Like, who do you think you are? I would like to date you? You're going to date our fist is what you're going to date. No, thank you. Why not? It'll be your honor. It's going to be our honor to deck you is what it's going to be. You know nothing about business. I heard you wait at tables. You need a man to help you manage your legacy. And I'm kind enough to volunteer myself. Excuse you. Excuse you. <laughs> That's what I thought. Who did that? Sorry it slipped. Thank goodness your family makes dishwashing soap. You'd be able to get the stain out. Yeah, stomp away. Bye-bye. Thank you, Elliot. Can you believe the nerve of that guy? You don't deserve to be talked to that way. What a waste. Okay, what a waste of the food, though. Yes. Do you think everyone here is like him? I can't promise you they're not. I have accompanied my dad to events like this, and some of them act like they own the world. That dude was disgusting. Imagine if someone did that. Like, really. And people do that. It's not like it's just a story thing. Like, there are people in this world who actually act like that, all entitled. Ugh. I'll never be like them. That's him. What is going on? Throw him out of here. On what grounds? You're overreacting. I don't need a reason to do what I want. I'm rich. Besides, he soiled my suit. Apologize or they'll throw you and your dessert, cheap dessert table out. You. Watch and learn, Miss Aldridge. This is how you treat those who forget their place. It's okay, Freya. I was in the wrong. No, it's not okay. Stand up for Elliot. Throw this loser out. It's good that you brought security on your own. I would like that man over there to be thrown out. Me on what grounds? I don't need a reason. I'm rich. Richer than you. I know exactly how I'm supposed to treat those who forget their place. Unless it's how to be a complete jerk, I don't need you to teach me anything. You can't throw me out. My father is going to donate a lot of money. I will double whatever donation Mr. Williams is about to make if he's thrown out. I'll double both your pay, too. Bye-bye! Freya, we've got each other's backs, right? Boys don't bake. You're just jealous he knows how to. Also, what's wrong with that? Don't you eat bread or cupcakes? Why can't he know how to make them? Because, because... Yeah, run away and cry. No one cares. Don't worry, Elliot. I've got your back. You haven't changed at all. <laughs> we stuck outside. Bye. So what you get? When will this cocktail reception end and the actual auction begin? Edward is socializing for me. Elliot is busy with his dessert table. Why are they whispering? And everyone else seems to be avoiding me. I wonder why. Am I that intimidating? I barely even spoke. You know what, though? Good. Be afraid of us. Don't test us. Don't cross us like that one little dishwasher out there. Get away from us. It looks like I'm not the only one who's alone. The right way to approach Dean is, I literally don't know, be as friendly as possible. Ask if he's working undercover now. Tell him he's guilty of looking to... I honestly want to do that just for fun, but, like, be friendly. Hey, what do you- Oh, we did not get any points. The EBI sent me. Why is the EBI here for an auction? Are you the cop? Why are you asking so many questions? I would think you should be working on my father's case. 
We are. It would be much easier without any interference. Hey, I told you what I knew. But now that I'm in the clear between you and I, who are the prime suspects? Classified. Okay. <laughs> Interesting. Who is Charlie talking to? Why is he getting so upset? Where are they going? Miss Aldridge, Marcellus, shh. Listen to what's going on. I'm too far away to listen in. Should I? Oh gosh, y'all, this is going to be a hot mess. I feel like you always pick the wrong option. Girl, you are in the bush. What do you mean you're in debt again? I gambled the money you gave me. And what has that got to do with me? Are you forgetting our deal? If you don't give me my money, I'll tell everyone that I saw you quarreling with Mr. Aldridge on the day of his murder. They quarreled. You girl. Who's there? Who are you? Security. I was securing the parameters. Oh, thank goodness. What are you doing out here? What are you doing? Charlie is one of your suspects, isn't he? Leave this to the EBI, Miss Aldridge. Did that bush just move? Oh, if we don't move now, Charlie will hear me and they know I'm eavesdropping. I should let Marcellus and Dean save me from being caught, save myself from being caught. I don't like save myself. I don't know what the right option would be. I don't need anyone to save me. I should throw something to get their attention. Throw a stick. The sound came from that way. It was sweet of them for trying to cover for me. I should be thinking, uh, we need some points with Dean. So thank Dean. Thanks, Dean. Okay, so I don't know if I picked, like, if, I don't know if, like, if I had picked the option to, like, let them save me, what would happen, but that's why I thought if I would be strong and independent, I don't even want to save me, but regardless, we don't need anybody to save us. Are you looking a bit on anything today, Miss Aldridge? Someone's talking to me finally. Not exactly. Edward told me that the Aldridge would be making a donation regardless of whether I bid for anything anyway. Why not? That's the fun of an auction. Next item up for bid. A diamond-encrusted tiara worn by a royal herself. Well, look at that tiara. Now, that's something that should be worn by the Aldridge heiress. Except, it's obviously a fake. How do I know that? That's the exact same plastic tiara I wore when I was a princess. Oh, they're selling fake stuff. I think you should bid for it. Can't she tell it's a fake? Tell her it's a fake. That's a fake. What? What are you talking about? There's no way that's a fake. They wouldn't put a counterfeit item for bid. Why is she so sure it's real? I don't like the look on Charlie's face. We'll start with $10,000. Oh, they're in on this together. They're trying to trick me into embarrassing myself in front of everyone. Girl, two can play at that game. Expose them. You really want me to bid for it? Yes, of course. Miss Aldrich, $11,000. Actually, it's only worth $100. But Miss Aldrich, a starting bid is $10,000. It's a fake. I don't know who your appraiser is, but either that tiara was swapped or they're just really bad at their job. What are you talking about? Miss Aldridge, what are you doing? The diamond shatter. See, real diamonds aren't that fragile. Who donated the tiara? Mr. Charlie Aldridge did. I think you have ex some explaining to do, uncle. Is that why you desperately wanted me to bid for it? I... Yeah, when did they get here? Were you trying to scam your own niece? I can explain. Regardless, I'd still like to pay $10,000 for it. This is for charity after all. How generous of you, Miss Aldridge. Blow them a kiss, let them know. Ah. Uh, that was satisfying. Isn't this supposed to be an auction? Why is everyone dancing? When will it end? It's customary for every social event. Right, the charity bet is just the guys. You're catching on rather quick. Did you get to meet anyone new? Not exactly. I understand it's not the easiest, but you're an Aldridge now. It's important to know the right people, but I have you for that. Miss Aldridge, at least share a dance before we leave. 
Spectacular performance back there. Thanks. Haven't seen you around all day. Is that your roundabout way of saying you miss me? I am a CEO. I do have a business to run. But if you were my fiance, I have a reason to take you to the back room. Oh my gosh. I'm going to stop you right there. Why haven't you told anyone else about that silly agreement? You haven't agreed to it. No, I'm going to announce it to everyone and pressure you into agreeing. I'm Callum Bradford. I don't have to resort to that. But perhaps a dance would change your mind. Freya. Him again. Elliot, what's up? I just cleared up the dessert table and I was wondering if you'd like to dance. You're one step too late. I actually believe I should get to decide who I dance with. Alternatively, there's also Marcellus who's watching from afar and Dean who's looking just as out of place as me. Ah! Are, are you serious, Steve? You already got to me too many times this chapter. Mm-mm. Can we finally go now? The chauffeur is bringing the car around. Is that gonna fall on us? Watch out! Um, what just happened? Someone is trying to kill me. Oh, hell no.